Hey, cat. Welcome, welcome. So, some of you may know, or some of you may not know, it is um, Pi Day. <laughs> so, this is not just your regular pie, you know, but this is like um, a mathematical Pi Day 3.14, da 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 da, you know, Pi Day. That's what it is today. That's what we're working on. Mm -hmm. So, today, I'm gonna have uh, Miss Keisha, who is our chef of the hour, Miss Gourmet Diva herself, is gonna join us. And um, and hey, if any of you all out there, hey, Miss Foxy, um, if either of you wanna join on up in with us, then you guys are more than welcome as well. And um, we're going to talk about pie. We're gonna talk about drinks. What drinks will go with pie? And um, yeah, so as soon as my girl gets here, there she is, and we will um, we'll get started. A happy pie day with everybody. So I guess while your pie is coming out the oven, I can show you what I did, what kind of little... Oh, no, it's out the oven. <laughs> like literally. Okay, so it's a little hot still. See, I made a little, a little hand pie, and look, oh, it's got a little cute. pie, tee -tee, right there. <laughs> <Never mind. laughs> so. Just a little pie. And then I also made some um some more little hand pies, you know, like just like um yum yum. Like those little um fruit pies we used to have at pie. school that were all sugar, all processed, and yes, that's kind of what these are. Little hand pies. It's like a little healthier. I love a good cherry pie. <laughs> Any pie that goes with ice cream, I'm a fan of. So yeah. Mm, so mm -hmm. for today, so some good pie. So that exactly. So I guess you know, we're talking about pie day at the beginning of spring, mm. and I wanted. Well, you had mentioned rhubarb pie, and I said we may be just a tad early for rhubarb season. And for those out there who are like, "What the heck is rhubarb?" Mm -hmm. We may have not heard of rhubarb. I got a big stalk in the celery family. It's a Whoa, part. that is huge! It's a huge one. Oh, wow. Nice. Huge piece of rhubarb. And Kat, who's online, that's so dope now. Um, I forgot the name of the store, but I went out there and I was so happy. Rhubarb. I'm like, yes, I'm buying it up. And then I had a whole conversation uh -huh. with like three people when they saw me touching the rhubarb. I'm like, what is that? What are you going to do with it? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> They're almost like, warning, warning, do you know what that is? Exactly. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey. So I made a rhubarb galette, a rhubarb oh. strawberry galette with frangipan. So Ooh. that is, so I did a little coordination with my top to the. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. See, I tried to do a little um, equity, I bike equity, so a little, you know. I did a little bike ride yesterday and my phone fell out of my pocket and got run over by a cop. But, you know, we still are fighting for equity for brown people throughout New York City. So just shout out to the brown bike girl. Uh, uh, thanks for the shirt. I know, but I get that out today. <laughs> yeah. And I was going to make a, hey. was it, a French 75 cocktail to go with the rhubarb pie since it's not a sweet pie. It's actually my first time having rhubarb pie. So, We'll see how this goes. Yeah, I, I like hope to you build like experimentation. It. Yeah. Have you ever mixed it with? Well, this is your first time having it. I was gonna say region one. All right. Yes, we got the, the Melza in the house. And As a more pot, <laughs> more pie. Three point one four. Was it five? I think you only got to three point one four. How far can you go with the decimal? Three point one four. Like from memory. Five. Yeah. I'm gonna have to look that up. <laughs> <laughs> Can I cheat? Can I have a um, lifeline? No, uh, I don't know. Somebody out there can cheat. They can don't give us. Please give it to the fit after. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, well, let's exactly. see. Well, we're waiting for the pie to come out. You know, as we were just saying, mathematically, you know, the circumference. Wait, that's not. You made more pie? No, no. You. I'm just saying with your. Pie no, no. Pie. I'm. So th that was the conversation. I was like, yeah, I'm going to cheat a little bit. And I'm not making a pie pie, 
I made a galette. So it's always this okay. conversation about exactly what, what is a pie? Yes. Mm. Hand pies, tarts do actually constitute them as pie. And so I brought a cousin and made the galette, which is a free form pie. So, okay, okay, okay. So we're going to have to rewind out of this. So free form galette pie, what is that? I don't know. Yeah. I saw so the... You can... So you see the filling that's in the middle. Yeah. And then there's the crust. So I had folded it over. So instead of going through the laborers, yeah, put it in the, oh, put it in the pie, pie dish. Mm -hmm. It's a pie. It has crust as filling. I'm good to go. <laughs> and that's it. Mm -hmm. Now, to go with that pie, hmm, I was thinking of a little sorrel with some Jamaican ripe rum, if I can even say mm -hmm. it. I haven't. I've only had a little bit so far. Jamaican white rum and some sorrel. Put a little bit of honey in there and some coconut water. That's what I'm gonna shake up right now. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. That's what, you yeah. know. Are you gonna move it to three fourteen? Yeah, totally. Absolutely. <laughs> Is anybody else online? Anybody else drinking with us? You know. Cheers to oh. cafe. Mm. I'll put. And you know it's like totally un you know totally official sorrel because it's in an unlabeled bottle so. Mm -hmm. You have a West in there. <laughs> and my bin. Yes. And we have Kat yeah. on. Our cat was with us. And um, Kat does, um, what is it, New, New Yorican? Um, yeah. She has the bomb um, Coquito. All different kind of flavors, Coquito. Um, mm, I just put a little extra, you know, overproof in there. <laughs> Exactly. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to make it to 314. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to make it to 314. We're going to lift up our glass and cheers. We're going to have cheers, some pie. Mm -hmm. Exactly. For women in tech, for women in general, just all the good stuff that we do. See, I'm stirring. You got the shake. I got the shake. Because I'm purely alcohol right now. <laughs> Oh, oh so exactly. A little bit of Prosecco, gin. Okay. That makes a lot of fun. Yes, I've got my Michelle glass. Mm, ah, mm. What else do you have planned for pie day? Actually, what is your favorite kind of pie? Real quick. Ah, oh, for pies? This is a good apple pie. Like I said, any pie, pie I could eat ice cream. This is more of the ice cream for me and the crust. <laughs> so really, there's a lot of mediocre you pies out there. The crust and ice cream. Yes, that's it. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> that's it. No, because you try a lot of pie, the soggy bottoms and or lackluster filling. Hmm. Yes. That's why we have to come up with a perfect pie, so then we're never disappointed. No. And that's what we you know, that's what comes down to recipe testing too. Just keep making it and tweaking it. And no now soggy today bottom. So. I used a um, a new pie res a new pie crust recipe. Um, but I'm also gonna make a chicken pie later on today. I got me some chicken. Ooh. I'm gonna put some um, I'm just gonna cook it down, put some gravy, make some gravy, and throw that sucker Take in the oven with pie. this crust. Mm-hmm. That's my grandmama's uh, chicken pot pie. Well, no, no. Don't let Cordell, don't let Cordell you hear me say pot pie. It's not a pot pie. It's just a chicken What's pie. It? A chicken pot pie, you put vegetables and stuff in. Chicken pie right. is chicken. It's no, ah, oh. all families have different, quirky different mm -hmm. things. Like they know right. it's not a. <laughs> mm-hmm, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, part oh, this week I'm going to make, yeah, I want to do a spring vegetable pot pie. Nice. Mm -hmm. So exactly with all the asparagus, probably peas and everything else. And with the, yeah, yeah, someone was, I think someone, sweet. maybe it was um, Annette had asked about what about shepherd's pie? Or what about even, so like almost with vegetables, so you could do like instead of meat, like a vegetarian shepherd's pie. Right, but it doesn't have a crust. <laughs> Goes well, back to our original question: What is pie? 
Exactly. If you guys, you know, let us know what you think. Is a pie, does a pie have to have a crust? Does a pie have to have fruit filling? Because we put mm. in some meat in these pies, so. No, exactly. You know. have savory or sweet pie. <laughs> crust is not you know, questionable. You know, pie, it's got the crust. Yes, that's a pie. Mm-hmm. That legit pie. Ah, uh, yes. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, I can't But it's not this cute of actually making a pie. So. <laughs> <laughs> I was totally more like, okay, you want to celebrate Pi Day? Sure, we can celebrate Pi Day. But then the whole, yeah. <laughs> and there's a day for everything, so why not? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no rules. Exactly. Do what you want. Exactly. We're all up on this. <laughs> it's like, I mean, different ways to make just different, um, different crusts. I can even put herbs or anything else into a plain crust. And I think that's when you talk about elevating or just changing recipes and food, it is to play around with things a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I could have mm -hmm. put probably a little bit of lemon zest or something or, um, or thyme into this crust or done maybe like a cornmeal crust since this oh, pie is not supposed crust. to be like yeah, sweet, sweet. Mm -hmm. So, you yeah. know. That's right. Miss Foxy said there are no rules. <laughs> so really there's no improper way to make a pie like we could put that cornmeal in there we could put some spices in there too i did put a little bit of sugar in my crust do you put a little sugar in yeah. your crust of course okay all right good <laughs> i thought you were gonna tell me something else you put in there like what else well but some little oil some <laughs> cbd oil into the pie <laughs> crust but that's I another channel <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh, and the other day I have to share this kind of funny story. I went to make pepper oil, um, you know, with some scotch bonnet peppers and some olive oil, mm -hmm. you know, soaking them in for a while. And I let it soak for a couple of days, you know, it was, you know, fermenting or whatever it does in the olive oil. I went to open <laughs> up that bottle and I could hear yes. it was like bubbling. And I was like, Oh, is it supposed to do that? So I opened it and psh, the oil comes out. No. Like, you know, like just bubbling over. So of course I have pepper oil on my hands. My hands start burning. Anytime I try to do something with these peppers, my hands end up burning. But I did actually made some roasted cauliflower with the um, pepper oil. And it was so good and so spicy. It was yummy. Oh, so, you know what? I actually have a bunch of habaneros. Maybe I'll do something. Yeah, yeah. Because I need to get rid of them. I'm not going to use them. <laughs> and see, that was the thing. You know, when you buy a big pack, I'm like, what am I going to do with the rest of these peppers? So I'm like, I'm going to put them in oil. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, same thing with herbs, too. Mm -hmm. Just oh, my gosh, out it is 314. We forgot all about our oh, 3.14. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to everyone on Pi Day. Cheers. On Pi Day. <laughs> <laughs> And it's so funny. I'm looking at the clock like, oh, yeah, mm -hmm, doo -doo -doo -doo. and then I'm like, wait a minute. I know. It's funny because I don't have a clock in front of me. So I'm like, oh, yeah, you probably got the time. Oh, my goodness. So I'm going to dip into this pie. Cheers. All right. Tell me how yeah. your pie tastes. I'm going to try mine. Yes. My aunt told me, she's like, be sure to put that egg wash on us so you don't have a light skin. Mm -hmm. She probably Exactly. Your auntie knows. <laughs> your aunt knows. And this thing is deep, so it's a deep chair pie. Mm, mm, mm. You know what I forgot? I don't have my pie. You don't have your pie? You don't have a, um, oh, a pie cutter? My pie server. Hmm. But anyway, you can see it. Mm, really good, very deep. I have my egg wash, and I put some turbinando sugar around it as well. What is that? Wait. Well, Isn't happy. that the rock hard sugar, like the um, brown mm -hmm. sugar raw? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Mm -hmm. I see a little flaky crust. Thank you all for sticking with us as we're stuffing our face and eating a little bit of pie on pie day. Mm -hmm. I don't usually but even eat crazy. on my Zoom, so this is special. No. <laughs> it's crazy because I read this article a while back but how on YouTube there's this thing like how people sit there and eat food and people like to watch it 
Like, mm-hmm. I don't like watching somebody else eat. <laughs> but I don't want to participate in that, you know? Shoot. Yeah. Oh, this is so. good. Oh, I'm so glad we're So you're going to post the recipe? What's that? Or are you going to post a recipe? Um, I could. Who don't know how to make cherry pie? <laughs> like I said, there's a lot of bad pies out there. You got to help people. That's true. That's true. I'll give you a little recipe of the pie. I absolutely cheated. So, you know, it's cherry pie and it's cherry pie filling. Uh, see, I'm going to be sitting <laughs> pitting cherries and your finger is going to be all, you know, red. My fingers would be all Sweet. red if I had some cherries and I was, mm-mm, no. No, I'm sitting here trying to do geometric. Now, if you look at my pie, I was trying to do geometric shapes and didn't quite work out. Oh, like to put mm-hmm. on the top mm-hmm. of the crust? Yeah, I was supposed to do like diamond shapes. I was like, yeah, I can do this. And that's why I was like, wait. It's kind I of blurry. Go. I can't see it, but I believe mm-hmm. you. You believe me? I took a okay. picture of it later. Yes. Take a beautiful picture of it so we can see it for sure, for sure. <laughs> and then probably with this other piece mm-hmm. of rhubarb. Let's see what I'll do with it. Either pickle it or maybe make a simple syrup or something out of it. Oh, so how does it taste? I usually just have like rhubarb with like strawberries or um, I had a rhubarb alcohol before. It was like a hundred proof. It was delicious. How about moonshine? Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, rhub- yeah, exactly. Rhubarb is tart. And that's why usually most people put it into pie, you know, mm-hmm. douse it with sugar to make it sweeter. But on its own, it's, um, it's tart, which is, mm-hmm. you know, it's good in itself. You can also use it in savory applications as well. Usually, when, exactly when you hear rhubarb, it's always blueberry pie. But you do yeah. so many things with, mm-hmm. you know, rhubarb, and it's the season. It's, you know, springtime is coming. So I can't wait. So, <laughs> yeah. I hope so, you yes, your recipe. Good I try that. <laughs> try it. It's a, um, it's a friend Japan. Um, Gillette with strawberries and rhubarb, and frangipan is basically um, almond, mm-hmm. almond being a little crushed up almond, almonds pureed. So it has that little sweet tart thing going on right now. I'm happy. Like I said, it's my first time making it, and I can tell you yeah. my stuff tastes horrible. <laughs> I don't like it, but I'll make it again. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ooh. Well, I might have to, you know, <clears throat> swing by and pick up a slice. <laughs> One piece for you, one piece for me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, you can have your ice cream. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, so I had kind of that hibiscus sorrel drink that I was like, okay, this will go good with the rhubarb, right? But I'm up here eating my cherry pie, so. So how's I it going together? It's okay, because the cherry is a little tart. And the sorrel mm. also is, mm, let me taste it again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's uh, crazy hey, how I got some um, uh, sorrel with some Jamaican white rum up in here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's really good. I mix it with a little bit of honey and coconut water. Mm. You know, it's when crazy I was in talk St. about food pairings. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> what goes well it's with art. This? <laughs> uh when we were in St. Pitt, just... oh sorry about that um mm, on. I, I even forget what i was going to say but yeah we had some really good drinks you know and uh had to come back with some they have a white rum down there too that um <laughs> i was pouring into like a bunch of stuff so you know soaking it up but yeah i think it goes well with the cherry pie mm-hmm. okay but uh, Keisha, you'll have to tell us because I know like at the end of the month on the 28th, we're also doing um, a women in rum event. So I know, I f- I'm so excited. Yes, a yes. Great, I it's a great panel so of fun. women. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I got to push over the gin and the, the wine. Now it's time to break out the rum. That's right. 
That's sweet, yeah, so sweet. Spirited, yeah, spirited women, trailblazing women in rum. Mm. And uh, moderated by I don't know somebody naming proper me. You know her? Who's that? It says moderated by somebody called Improper Mimi. Do you know her? I think I know her. You know, that's um, me. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to be like, oh, that's, you know, my other half. Improper Mimi. Mimi Jacks. Yes. Uh, so that'll be fun. Oh, I can't wait to taste all different kinds. I've got a lot of rum up in my house. I haven't been drinking it lately because I've been doing a lot of bourbon and whiskey. But... For this right here, for these pies on pie day, I figured yeah, so break out the rum. I will break out the rum. Let me break it out right now. I got some apple juice. Well, apple cider. I'm gonna put a little bit of apple cider in here like that. <laughs> like Miss. You know, everybody's gonna ask, where do you live right now? <laughs> Who's saying what? I don't know. I'm waiting for the pop up with all these drinks that you're coming up with. People can mm -hmm. ask you, where do you live? Mm. I live on, you know, Burberry Lane. I don't know what you call it. <laughs> but we'll put Street. some of this uh, rum in here. It's a, it's a nice spiced rum from St. Lucia. Mm. It is called Chairman's Reserve. I'll put a little bit yeah. of Reserve. Get a little shot of that. I think this is an ounce. We'll put that in there. That sounded like a lot That's of a big ounce. ounce. That was a big ounce. That's yeah. a big ounce. Yeah, one ounce is two tablespoons. Shake it, shake it. Shake it like a salt shaker. Mm -hmm. Or a Polaroid. Mm -hmm. It all depends Polaroid. on what area you're from. Mm -hmm. I think what with a Polaroid. They shake it to now. <laughs> they shake it to TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. So we have celebrated Pi Day. 3.14. Yes, you were oh, there. Jack, I know, I know. Mm, I wish you were here now. You're in Brooklyn, man. What's, 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 what's up? You know, we're having a little bit of drinks to go with our pie on pie day. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Tell me, everything's pink right now. <laughs> ah, ooh, that's nice. Mm -hmm, that's a little spicy. <laughs> okay, so I'm putting like a little burn in your chest. You're like, yeah. Oh, yes, this is where you want to just sit back in a hammock and relax. <laughs> where, where's this hammock happening? I'm tired. I'm ready to go. Trust me. I'm like, mm. I just want some sunshine. Cat and fever. <laughs> now, Mahalia, join me, hey, girl. Yes, <laughs> yes Mahalia. Another techie all woman. Pie day. Yes, our women in engineering, our women drinking, our women cooking. Although, Mahalia, you make the drinks, okay? And then we'll let Keisha cook. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Mm. Yes, I should have had some ice cream to go with this pie. I didn't even think about that. But then with the drinking, it might cause a stomach ache. Oh, okay. One or the other. <laughs> I don't want to get the text, That's girl. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing that a Texas instrument can help with that. If your stomach starts to get upset. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember the days of Texas Instruments? The whole that big freaking do they still do they still exist? Are they still they feel so out of touch? They must exist. I remember my mama was like Mrs. Texas Instruments. She would do workshops for them and classes. So we would oh, always wow. have the computers or the calculators because she would get them and then she would give them to us. <laughs> I Even remember my, my freshman year, they were like a hundred, like a hundred bucks for. I'm like a hundred bucks for a calculator. What the? Mm -hmm. I was like, is this some kind of magical calculator? Mm. Mm -hmm. And they could do graphs, so they were pretty magical. Mm -hmm. Ooh, so yummy! Yeah. Here okay, so let me compare the sorrel drink with our apple cider and rum drink mm, with a pie taste in my mouth. Mm -hmm. We're having a little I have a feeling the apple cider probably works better. Mm. I made that one a little stronger, so. You're not going to make it. <laughs> what else do you have to do <laughs> for the rest of the afternoon? Oh, you know, maybe I'll get a little bit of work in later, but 
Not too much. I figure out. Just I don't will. press send. That's always my thing. Just don't press send after drinking. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, I know that I am supposed to make that chicken pie. So pie day is not done for me, peoples. Mm -mm. These cherry pies are delicious, but I'm going to make me a chicken pie, too. And that'll be my dinner. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, see? Apple salad and spice Mm. And I can't wait for spring. This needs to come. <laughs> wait, so what's, what's new going on in the proper Mimi land? Ooh, well, you can also now find Improper Mimi on YouTube. So mm. if uh, people haven't, you know, checked that out yet, I'm starting to put some of those um, behind the scenes and some of those videos of us recording the podcast on YouTube. So if you want to see me talk, as I'm talking, then yeah, peek on over to, to YouTube, check out, you know, the channel, see what's going on. We have a couple of videos up there, you know, trying mm -hmm. to keep everybody entertained in multiple ways. Yes. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Like when you have all these videos to edit and different platforms. Yeah. And then, it's and then it's like, okay, make sure everybody knows about the different platforms that you're on. And it's like, man, I feel like I'm always doing something. <laughs> that's what I have like one day off or at least a couple of hours off like alright I'm not thinking about anything I'm not doing anything that's right. it because mm -hmm. if not we're going to lose our freaking minds <laughs> <laughs> well you just had a um, pajama brunch how did that go oh my god it was so fun it's, oh wow it, it's crazy when exactly like when you have people from like all over the world and you're cooking mm -hmm. at the same time and the synergy and energy that you know happens, you know, you know through that. So, I I have a love hate relationship with the virtual world. I love it because you do get to connect with other people from all over the place. But then, yeah, you still want to you know touch and hug people and just feel that energy at exactly. another level. But it was fun. Yeah. And my, yeah. yeah. But then getting people used to or kind of understanding what the heck this virtual stuff really is. So it's mm -hmm. a great way for a lot of people to see like, oh, okay. It's not too bad. Yeah. Because some people are like, oh, I'm all zoomed out. I don't want to do any virtual events. I'm like, but this is different. This is fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I do want to yeah. experiment with different different platforms, too, for hosting, you know, virtual events just to give it a different feel than Zoom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, like, this, like an easier aesthetics. But there are different um, different event hosting but then some of them are a little more expensive. I'm like, you know, I'm not spending $100 a month for this. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, that's this is not a big conference we're doing. <laughs> we're doing a, you know, an intimate setting, you know, teaching people to cook and to, you know, taste different spirits and, you know, get used to rum or wine or whatever it may be that we're doing. So, yeah. I see the DJs. Crazy. A lot of DJs are over on Twitch now. Mm -hmm. I've never been. What, what is Twitch? Oh yeah, you gotta check out Twitch. It's um, it's it's also uh, I guess kind of like with a virtual background behind you, so that you can be okay. doing something wherever. Um, I guess gamers and DJs and you know people who are recording whatever it is that they're doing can then have it up there, and you have people can interact with you on there. So okay, yeah, I feel like yeah. exactly the kind of interact with people is a huge. A huge factor that at least for me mm -hmm. and like what platform you decide to use yeah you want to really keep them engaged <laughs> right it's like hey you can see everybody's comments coming in like wait you're sitting here on your phone watching this <laughs> it's kind of creepy at the same time <laughs> <laughs> it's like wait do, 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 do. oh hey how you doing do, 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 do. All right. <laughs> Oh my god. Right, like was drop your comments in the chat room box part of our vocabulary a year ago? No. <laughs> like no, public speaking no. is now different because of virtual the virtual world. Uh-huh. And then okay, so then what about when people like people are starting to get their vaccines now, you know, um maybe by I, the end of the summer, end of the year perhaps we'll be getting right. back to hybrid events or um I think for event. me i like hybrid events because the ability to i think one thing we did gain through everything is that a little bit more open-mindedness 
-hmm. to opening up to how events should look, how much more access people can get. Because when you have physical events, it's all about getting your speakers, getting your people to one mm -hmm. physical location, and that's cost. So how can you still give people information, access at scale, and also at cost? Right. Mm -hmm. So that's why I think a lot of virtual events, like we wouldn't have verses if this didn't happen, is people, right. you know, it's a, so a lot of, yeah, it's like, yes, we want to be together physically, but I don't mm -hmm. think virtual events are going to totally die off in this yeah. entire, it's going to taper off because yes, we want to see people, we want to drink and <laughs> <laughs> I just want to sweat my hair out at a party. Right. That's what that is my that one thing I'm looking for. Is I just want to sweat. Oh and my dance. goodness! Like, you, you know, you talk about good party. party. Yeah. Yes. yes. One. Music. Give me one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. and you know, I was laughing because you know the one thing about these virtual events are. You can be dressed or you cannot be dressed. You know what I'm saying? I so, have pants on. I did. Oh, I got you. I have pants Just on. In case. Too. Just in case. Yep. Just in case <laughs> I stand I up the there. Queen of, like turning off the camera so I could go do something. I'm like, oh, if I don't have on any pants, I'm like, just turn this camera off. <laughs> <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever seen somebody without pants on on a call? No, not for real work now. Mm -mm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, everyone's been well behaved. I've seen kids come in, but you know, kids always come in. Yeah, kids um, and dogs. Kids and dogs, yes. Man, there have been more dogs in my meetings lately. <laughs> it's the noise that draws them to it. That's what it is. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness, shoot. But at least there, there's no dogs in our background right now. So that's very good. I don't have to worry about any other things. <laughs> Working with dogs and kids, you know, those are the things. <laughs> hey, Mr. Ron, coming to join your Region 1 Queens, <laughs> celebrating Pi Day, having a drink. I remember one time at work, and uh, Miss Foxy will remember this, we had, I brought pies into work, and everyone was like, why did you bring in pie? I'm like, it's Pi Day, so here, let's have some pie. <laughs> so I had pie like you're crazy. So, like, cherry pie apple pie we had some savory pies you know some people might mm -hmm. call it a quiche but they had you know like eggs and thyme and sausage you know so mm, and cheese i'm like okay good these are some good that's pies. true yeah quiche is mm -hmm. a pie mm -hmm. yeah shoot macaroni pie what about that i don't think uh, that's really pie it's all my favorite <laughs> Sorry about my Caribbean massive, but you know, when we're talking about pie, we're talking about, you know, ooh. It, and these, I mean, they have. Yes, please bring out something to drink and get caught up. <laughs> <laughs> grab your drink, grab some pie. If you've got any, I don't know if you got any pie lying around the house, but you know, I've been stuffing my face with pie. I'm on my second cocktail because we were trying to see. What drinks go good with pies? So if anybody out there want to tell us, I'll tell you what I'm drinking. I'm drinking some apple cider and some St. Lucian spiced rum going with my cherry pie. What would you drink um, with your pie? I'm mm -hmm. still finishing off my cocktail, but I'm topping it off with more Prosecco just to finish this bottle. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. It's like an individual size Prosecco bottle. <laughs> Looking by yourself yeah. has some disadvantages. Like I hate, yeah, big bottles of wine that can go to waste. So. Oh no, wine never goes to waste, honey. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a how, how much can you can you drink a whole bottle by yourself? Can't everybody? <laughs> and all the <laughs> I can drink a bottle by myself, but usually <laughs> during the work week. I pace myself out to a glass or two. I mean, come come on, a bottle is like four glasses, really, right? Yes, a bottle is four glasses. So technically, two one two one day after work or whatever, and then two the next yeah. day. Mm -hmm. I keep I keep <laughs> talking to the um, global. But, no, what I meant was, can you take a bottle by yourself in one sitting? <laughs> 
I can. It all, all right. depends on what kind if of I start early in the day. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, yesterday, what did I open up yesterday? I had some white wine. I went over to Bed Vine, you know, love our little Brooklyn shops. You do a little bike ride over, grab some wine, come back home. That's yeah, true. I get it. Brooklyn and, does have a nice um, wine scene. Yeah. There, and you know what? I, I picked up a new one. Um, oh, I forget the name of it. It's a... Um, Did you get black? A what's it? Oh, shoot. Brown. Because Brown Estate has like another line coming out. Or well, came out with another line. I love the bottling. The, really? Um, really? We might have to check that out. Brown something. No, wait, hold on. Okay. Because the last thing that I remember that came out of there was the Chaos Theory. And I love that. That was delicious. No, it's something else. And actually, else. Theopolis, you guys hear us spitting out these little Black-owned uh, wineries and everything. But Theopolis um, Vineyards, I love their, how do you say it? Is it Cuvée? It's a Cuvée Blanc? It's like C-U-V-E-E? -E. Right. I'm horrible when it comes to pronouncing things. So I was like, yeah. Whatever sounds great to you. But no, when you gave me the, the Theopolis Rosé, uh -huh. um, I fell in love. I right. fell in love. Well, anytime you want to place an order, let me know, because I know that shipment from California, we're like, all right, yes. Exactly. Like, order a couple bottles at a time. Uh -huh. But yeah, they were really good. And actually, I was over at um, Happy Cork the other day, and um, another Black-owned wine store in Brooklyn, and they had um, Theophilus in there. I was like, oh, check this out. I love mm -hmm. it when I recognize some, you know, wines up in here. Exactly. And they really prep it so you could tell which ones are black owned, you know. They have like them all like up there together. I'm like, okay, good. Let me get this, this, and that. <laughs> yeah. well, I'll send you a message or post um, their new Thank you. House yes. of Brown. That's what it is. House of Brown, have you heard of it? No. Mm -mm. So that's the another one. Okay. But yeah. I'm going to have to check that out. The bottle looks, I don't want to crack it open if I get it. Yeah, I'll crack <laughs> it open and take the bottle. What am I talking about? <laughs> if you guys don't know, uh, reusing your wine bottles comes in handy. If you put some olive oil in there, put a little spout on the top. And then you can like sprinkle your olive oil in the kitchen while you're cooking. Yep. And for those beautiful wine that's bottles, that's tip. why I save them. <laughs> and then I put Sometimes them I the use them for, um, for flowers. Yes, yes. But I like I have... olive oil from suggestion. Yeah, I have one of my tequila hey, bottles. Hey, Cater. <laughs> <laughs> holla, holla. Yes. I hope you guys are enjoying Pie Day as much as Keisha and I are. We're having our little pies and our cocktails, you know, having a chat about what is pie day. <laughs> Could you imagine if it was like Black History Month? It'd be like, what does pie day mean to you? <laughs> oh, pie day means my mama was a mathematician and right. she would celebrate and have fun in her classes. So, and then would tell us about it. And so I knew that March 14th was 3.14 pi day so well, you know i try to spread the love wherever i can let everyone else know about pi day so you can realize a lot of people didn't know about pi day right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. shoot oh, a lot of people probably didn't know that monday last monday march 8th was international women's day so i hope you guys are celebrating the women in your lives your aunties your grandmas your mamas and them you know, make sure that you celebrate Women's History Month. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every day. I'm going to get one month and Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, yes. Well, just like I say with uh, Black History Month, Black History Month is every day. Black history is every day. So if you're, you know, learning and you know deep digging into some research on black history then you should share it anytime every time you know um, always family. uplift our um, women of color our, our black you know men and women and just you know we're celebrating everybody all year long but wait what's april because hmm. start with black history month and you have march women's history month and april is 
April has to be something. Let me look at my little calendar here. <laughs> Let's see what we have in April. Mm. Besides Easter. Besides Easter. Mm -hmm. Exactly, besides Easter. Yeah, we got April Fool's Day, Fall Day, Holy Saturday, blah, 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 Ramadan, um, Administrative Professionals Day mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in April. Uh -huh. But it's not a whole like What month does it embody a whole month? No, not that I know of. No, we'll Once we get over. to April, though, somebody will say, oh, it's this month. And we'll be like, congratulations. You're like, oh. Right. Drink oh, more God. wine and alcohol month. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, maybe it, it will be red wine month. Mm. Or April, maybe because it's springtime, it'll be daffodil month or flower month or something like that. Okay. Yeah. You can't go from Black History Month to Women's History Month to celebrate a daffodil. It's like going from... <laughs> Mm -hmm. like people who have made great contributions and then a pretty flower. Mm, that's nice. <laughs> that's what you know you drink too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my drink. gosh. Mm -mm -mm. Woo. Well, I'm telling you, this pie is not going to make it very long. I might, I might have to eat this whole thing. So you give your pie a thumbs up, you'll make it again? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll give it a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. I'll co-sign to my strawberry rhubarb frangipan galette. Frangipan. The naughty cousin. <laughs> <laughs> this the makes it sound fancy. Pasta. That's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are fancy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're the chef that knows all this stuff. So yeah, It's always a learning. I always, I always say I'm always a student. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll find a proper thing for this. Learning. And that's the hardest part. Mm -hmm. always, you always have this thing like, do I know everything? Like, nope, just keep going. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. I'm, glad, I'm glad I decided to celebrate Pi Day. <laughs> like, Thank you for celebrating Pi Day with me. Right. With crazy Cheers. stuff that's going in the world. I'm like, yeah, why not? Just make that I need motivation to to cook or I just have a focus on what I want to make because sometimes I don't crave food. Ah, so once again, mm -hmm. the focus on pie, it's like, okay, I can make a pie. Now, what kind of pie? All right, <laughs> it's springtime. We'll go with the season. Oh. And exactly, it was a grapefruit pie that came to mind. Something made with lavender can come to mind. So something that was light and delicate. But once, yeah, once I found rhubarb, it was like, yeah, we, we're good. <laughs> mm. Here we go, spring. That's right. Oh, National Autism Awareness Month. I'll take that one. There you go. That is something that we need to, to highlight. To celebrate in April. Mm -hmm. Make people aware. Here we go. Yeah. Thanks, so Ron. Hey, look at that. Exactly. Now we can go. Right. Great follow-up. <laughs> I think one of the first podcasts that we did together, we were like, who's going to fact check? Someone needs to fact check. <laughs> Uh, Did that ever happen? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Which I do a little research ahead of time, but, you know, not really like fact check right there on the on the dot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Ooh. Anybody out there who want to join us or come on up? On, um... Who wants to come on live? Yeah. I want to test the feature out that you can actually have three people or four people on IG yeah. live together. So somebody needs to come on and, you know. Yes, you can, because I know that um, I did it with my my cousins and my, my daughter. And your daughter, I saw my, that. Yeah, we had us a little funny time. <laughs> but what was the topic? Because I just poked in and you guys were talking about taxes. Oh, <laughs> we were I'm talking like, about... We were just talking about all kind of random things. We were just like, hey, let's see if we can do this. And we did it. And, and so happened. we had like four people on. And um, and then my, my nephew is away at school. So he was telling us, you know, what's going on on campus, how they're dealing with COVID up there. And then my other cousin is in Ohio. And so she was telling us, you know, what things were happening in her neck of the woods. 
and um and then my daughter in boston so we were just all like reconnecting having a little family reunion testing out ig live and uh it was fun it was good to have everybody it was on. Fun to be, yeah when i saw the article and i sent it to you I'm like oh wow more than two people now can go and you know ig yeah. live yeah and so when i saw you and testing it out i was like oh great yeah oh my gosh i know then you know hey well, now there's also Clubhouse where um, it's not even talk about it. I don't have an iPhone. Oh, <laughs> I just say the world with a bunch of people with Apple products talking to each other. I'm like, all right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know they Girl have to test it out. You know, get all the kinks out first. But are you I on know. it? Do you have a room? Are you a moderator? I I am. Well, I've been on it a couple of times. I'm like trying to get my room. I know um, Demelza goes on regularly. Has a room up there. And, um, but I just use an iPad and I'm like, okay. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So last night I was on and there is a black card revolt room and they actually like play the game. They like have the cards, So they go around and ask people and then they take the consensus with the room. And if everyone doesn't agree with you, or if the majority doesn't agree with you, then they take your black card. Right. <laughs> so. <laughs> We almost had a little uproar because I got a question that had to do with music. And I'm not your music connoisseur. You know, I don't even know who sings the song, what the name of the song is or whatever. Yeah, I'm bad at that too. Like, don't call oh. me if you need somebody to recall somebody's right? name. If from I need a, a lifeline, okay, so I won't no. call you from a lifeline. <laughs> no. Uh, All right, please start the show. Me, <laughs> the question they asked me, and so you, you tell me what you would have picked. They're like based on someone singing alone, just based on their singing, who would you think is the best cook? So you what? would think the best singer is the best cook, right? So based on their singing, who would be the best cook? There was Patti LaBelle, there was Luther Vandross, there was Beyonce, and there was one other person. Who was the other person? I forget who the other person was, but who would you have picked? Based on their singing, who would be the best cook? Patty LaBelle, mm. Luther Vandross. I never tried Patty LaBelle's pies, and I, I hear they're quaintly sweet, so that's not my thing. I've never actually seen Beyonce throw down, like actually cook. You hear that she eats, but not. I don't I haven't heard any. <laughs> yeah. Ever. Has anybody heard about Beyonce scrambling an egg? I don't know. I'm gonna go with Luther. On the no. Uh, no, but see, yeah. And then, okay, so uh -huh. the first thing I said was because I'm like, okay, let me play the room, you know, you know, let me be strategic because a lot of black people like Beyonce. So I was thinking, okay, well, maybe I'll pick Beyonce. As soon as I said Beyonce's name, everyone was like, oh, no, 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 no. They're like, how can you make me answer that? I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm like, I didn't lock it in. <laughs> I was like, I was just thinking out loud. So I was like, can I change my answer? <laughs> so I picked Patty LaBelle. Mm -hmm. And I was able to keep okay. my black card. They let me keep my black That's card. I, that she has a cookbook out. Yeah. Wait, wait. Who has a cookbook out, Mahalia? Um, Patty LaBelle. Patty LaBelle. Yeah. Patty LaBelle. See, well, that's who I would have wanted. Beyonce yeah. doesn't cook, probably. <laughs> and I don't, you know, ooh, I really don't even follow or like Beyonce that much. I mean, I listen to her music and stuff, but yeah. I'm not like a Beehive fan or whatever. So I was just trying to be like, okay, I think more people would like her, so I'll say her. But no, but clearly that was not cooking. the right choice. Mm -mm. No, I don't recall her cooking food. <laughs> I know she went uh, vegan, but that was her pri her private chef that oh, really? made food. So, no, that was like for a month. That was it. Oh, okay, yeah, not for life, just for like not for life, just for like just one days. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, good. Well, I'm glad that we uh, got together for our yeah. pie day. Exactly. We'll get together in person soon. Maybe like a picnic yes. or something. And then I can give you a big old hug. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, exactly. You know, like, mm, just another pretty face, Mahalia. We know that you can really cook. 
Mm-hmm. I'm, you're not fooling me. I know you could throw that out. It's not just a pretty face. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh shoot we have to be able to cook we're up in this you know pandemic who else is gonna feed us can't be ordering takeout for everything. doordash yeah doordash <laughs> mm. mm -hmm. i wish yeah do, 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 i just can't pay those foods i don't want a cheeseburger and spend like 50 dollars on it yeah it's but it's coming from around the block i'll either go walk and pick it up or i'll try to make it myself I haven't made a cheeseburger in a while, though. Hmm. Well, mm -hmm. get yourself some good ground beef. So. Decadent cheese. Ooh, I did pick me up some cheese. You know, I love me some cheese. I know, I shouldn't. <laughs> I get all nasally. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, well, thanks, <laughs> Keisha. And maybe just yeah, talk about one more time about what's the next thing we could look forward to. Our spirits yeah, and women. Great for our tasting. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yay. Awesome. I can't wait. Ah. Don't finish eating my pie. My good. <laughs> yeah, that was the other thing. I'm like, I wasn't making a full size pie because then right. who's going to eat it? I'm going to have to eat the whole pie. Or freeze and them. that's not part of my, you know, pandemic plan. <laughs> no, you can go through the whole bottle of wine, but not a full pie. <laughs> exactly. I can, no problem. Finish a bottle of wine, but I don't want to finish a whole pie by myself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Bye. Love seeing you guys too. Sometimes I just want to powwow with everybody. There's nothing formal, just girl chat. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and guy chat. Just chat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. All right. I'll catch you soon. I'll see you soon. All right. Bye. Bye. -bye.